So what I have here is a tea set, a Gaiwan set that I ordered from Fullman Beauty during their soft launch in the end of 2019. This actually got here in, I, I wanted to say in about two to three weeks, but I haven't had a chance to open it since I was out of town. And well, let I'm going to open it and, you know, try it out. Um, this is really well packaged, I think. It came encased in a solid block of styrofoam. You can see there's still little pieces lingering to it. I spent a while um, trying to clean that up. And honestly, I've seen things that are, you know, like Christmas ornaments or whatever that are made of 100% glass that were encased in less secure styrofoam, so I really like the packaging. Um, and then there's also this little lovely plastic soft, I, I'm gonna pet it, this little heavily pettable um, styrofoam sheet around it. So I'm going to, well, let's just tear apart this soft styrofoam. Whoop. And this kind of falls into place. So yeah, this isn't even glass. This is just, I want to say ceramic. Feels heavy. Um, let me actually get some of this extra tiny bit of styrofoam out of the way. My Roomba's gonna have a lovely little dinner tonight with all the styrofoam bits on the floor. Let's see. So we've got, ooh, there's a little more styrofoam than here. Let me shake it off into my trash can. There we go. So yeah, there's this little lovely little ceramic. Well, I guess this is the Gaiwan. I, Gaiwan, if you're not familiar, Gaiwan is um, Gai, Lid, and Wan, Bow. Um, this is not really a bow, right? And the lid is still encased in case and, this extra little piece of styrofoam, but I, it's I guess still called a gaiwan because you brew it um, in that style. You brew tea with it in that style, and then let me take the little lid out. Take, let me take that little lid out. Do 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 do. Okay, this is cute, and I can put it in there. There's a. There's a little, I don't know if you see it, let me see, oh, there we go, yeah, there's a little hole on the top of the lid, um, you know, usually a Gaiwan, um, ha doesn't have a hole on the top of the lid, and it doesn't have a little building strainer, so, um, it's a little ha harder to use, but this one, I think, is, you know, I can actually pour like this, I mean, I probably still want my finger here, but I think this is a really good, you know, I beginner or I guess for me, you know, low stress guy one, um, because then I don't have to like hold it in the prop the proper way and make sure I don't burn myself and you know strain all the leaves out. Although, um, these holes are a little bigger than you know the little opening that you can have if you were just using a typical guy one. So uh, I don't know, I. We'll find out, I guess. This is a custom blend of um, called Smoked and Juniper. This is actually one of the prototypes of the blend that a friend gave gifted to me. Um, it's a uh, Lapsang and Juniper Berry blend. There are some other things in there, but I'm actually not sure what's in there. Um, and I guess it, it tastes like smoke and juniper. That's just like its name. So I'm gonna just dump some of this in there. Oh, you know what? Let's put all of it in there. Yeah, there we go. Get a little stuck here. So that's one thing I guess I have to be careful of is that, um, is that there's a little lip here and that isn't, you know, I'm used to the traditional Gaiwan, and there isn't like that little lip there, but, huh. So we'll see how that goes. And, well, I shouldn't have put the lid on yet, because I should probably pour some hot water in it. Um, I, you know, 
may not be good for the camera, but I'm going to take this off camera to do this because I really do not want my desk drowning in near boiling liquid. That would be bad. Okay. So, should put the lid back on, but this is actually really pretty. Okay. Even though it's pretty, the lid needs to go back on. And then, I'm not 100% sure, honestly, how long I should keep this for. I never... I'm sure someone, you know, with a table next to them can tell you, with a chart next to them can tell you, or someone who's more experienced can tell you, but, you know, I just do whatever I feel like, which I guess is what you're supposed to do anyway. So let's see how this pours. Mm, okay, so yeah, the tea leaves, a little bit of the white stuff, which is not styrofoam, um, it's something in the tea. I don't actually know what it is, but some of that got through here. Let me see if I can bring this up to the... Oh, yeah. Um, I guess it's hard to see dark tea in with a camera like this, but you can see a little bit of the botanicals got through, but, you know, nothing too bad. Mmm, yeah, this is about the right amount of steeping time. And now, I'm curious. I, I just took a little sip, so it's not very, you know, it's still about the same amount of tea as it was before. Okay. And I'm basically tilting this at over 90 degrees now. Kind of to get the last drops of it out. Okay, so I guess this holds, which makes sense, right? Because it came in a set. Um, this little guy one holds ex pretty much exactly enough to get these two cups to be, you know, I would say half full, you know, a comfortable amount of full, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to take another sip before I continue to talk. Mmm, smoky. <sighs> so, if this was advertised as a set for two people. I'm not two people right now. Um, so, but, well, we'll see. I'm going to leave this one over there. I'm going to continue drinking this one because I just really like this tea. All right, so the this thing is warm, but not hot to the touch, which I think is great. Um, my uh, the, the two other guy ones I have one is you know a standard ceramic thing that I actually picked up at Goodwill. Um, they they didn't know what it was, no one knew what it was, so they just priced it as like a dollar teacup, but. You know, I knew better. Um, and then the other one is made of really thin, clear glass. And both of those, you know, if I hold them not... Well, even if I hold them properly, it's hot. But if I don't hold them properly with water that's close to boiling for a, a poor bolate, right? Like, it, it would burn my hand. This one, there's clearly this handle here. Okay, so there's a little hole here. Um, that I can fit. I have these giant fingers, as you can probably tell from the video already. I have some pretty big fingers, but they kind of fit very comfortably. Um, kind of, and I can just put my index finger on here to keep it from slipping, or, well, I guess let's see what happens if I tilt it. I'm a little scared. Okay, so yeah, even at... Like, I would say maybe a 75 degree angle, this little lid stay put. So I didn't even need this, although I just do it for safety's sake. And also, I'm just so used to it. Um, But yeah, like even now, I mean, I guess there's no hot water in it anymore. But if I hold it like this, it's warm, which is great because it's snowing outside and the power's been kind of 
finicky, so things aren't super warm in here. But yeah, this is great for hand warming. And when I was, even when the water was in there, it was, um, I wanted to say 210 degrees, yeah. So even when the 210 degree Fahrenheit water's in there, um, you know, I did this by accident, like I did this, and it just felt warm. So, you know, these, I guess, the little ceramic here is a po both a really good in. I guess it's a really good insulator. Yeah, it's it can't be a good insulator and conductor. It's a good insulator. It's keeping the tea. The well, it's still warm after me playing with it for a couple minutes and just wiggling it around. Um, I'm gonna drink a little more. Mm. Let's try this one and see if it's still warm because the cup itself it's still warm. This is the second cup that I poured that I haven't you know really touched yet. I guess now I'm touching it. I'm petting it. Hello cup. Okay. Mmm. It's definitely not you know. Um. The best temperature for drinking this, I mean, it wasn't as warm as it was. It wasn't as hot as it was when it first came out of the little uh, pot, the little guy one. Right? But it's still warm. And it, I've been sitting here for a few minutes, like I said, on a cold winter day when it's snowing outside. And the heat is kind of finicky. So, you know, this is, I, I really like this. This is... Better, definitely better than um, the regular cheap ceramic teacups. And, you know, for $20 with free shipping, or ch I guess $25 without, um, without the coupon for the soft launch, this is, I, I like this. I am going to drink the rest of my tea, but I am... I am a fan of this. This is over steep, but that was my fault. That was not the fault of the little teapot. Um, the, ooh, 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 look at this. Okay, it's hard to see. Oh, there we go, there's the lights hitting it. Yeah, I, the one thing that I'm worried about is how hard it is to rinse the tea leaves out um, because of that. So let me put this down because of that lip there, right? So there definitely is, you know, normally with a gyron, I just run it under the faucet and all the leaves just go whoosh and they come out and my garbage disposal eats them all up. But this one, I think may take a little effort, um, especially with the leaves clustered around the spout in there. It's hard to see, but there's a lot of leaves clustered there. Um, but that's a problem for later. That's a question for later. Right now, I think this is screaming for a second steep, so I'll do that. So, yeah, that's the end of, I guess, my first tea video. Hopefully, I'll have a chance to make more in on this channel. Okay, well, I'm going to drink these teas now. Bye.